yeah. So, um, that challenged me to make something out of popsicle sticks and glitter. Uh, so I made a rocket ship. Uh, I didn't have any glitter, so I used the glittery thread stuff. And uh, so yeah, that's my rocket ship. <laughs> you know, despite the fact that it looks absolutely craptacular, I actually spent quite a lot of time, well, like 20 minutes on it. But that's a lot of time when I was supposed to be studying. And I put DFTB and One Awesome World. So this is the official One Awesome World rocket ship. And it's flying, so it's got flames. It's... <sighs> Rocket ships! So the theme this week is found items or collections. Now I would like to show you my DVD collection but it's not that big and my room is a total tip so to show you that I would have to show you how messy my room is but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show you something I found. I was walking my dogs and I found this and I don't know what made me pick it up but I did. It's one of those stamp things that you get out of libraries and I decided to pick it up for some reason because I thought it was cool and wow I can stamp all my stuff but it's dried out so it doesn't stamp on anything, it just makes a cool noise and it flips when you do it. Isn't that the most amazing thing you've ever seen? But I must admit that origami turtle does cool and all. So I said that this week I would do Question Tuesday, which I totally regret doing because I totally underestimated how much studying I've had to do. My exams are in less than three weeks. Less than three bloody weeks! Oh my god. I'm so... Oh! Three weeks! It's less than three weeks! Oh my god, I'm so screwed! Okay, I need to make this video as quickly as possible so I can study. And like, I've been reading the host, so... I've like, I haven't been doing as much studying as I wanted and now I'm having to make this video and I'm going to fail everything. What's your favourite Harry Potter book? You know, that's kind of like saying what you like more, awesome or more awesome, but I would have to say The Destiny Hallows in my pants. Are you going to answer this question? If you could have an invisibility cloak or a time turner, what would it be and why? Um, if there's any British kids out there, they'll remember the TV series Bernard's Watch. So I'd like to pick the time turner and like find it in the middle of the field and just like stare at the camera with like a, a smile and just go... You search it on YouTube, Bernard's Watch. I would do that with a time turner. Just, just so I could reenact that opening that was amazing. What is your favourite food? Pizza! If you soaked yourself in a pool full of awesome and then ran five laps around the Quidditch field while singing the Super Mario theme, what would your name be? Um... Eve? If Nessie and that guy from Twilight, Edward Cullen, yeah, he's, he's the one, uh, who would win in a fight? You know, although Nessie might be a monster, Nessie is still a woman. So I'm pretty sure Edward Cullen would just like dazzle her and she'd just go like all of us fan girls go. Which one awesome world guy would you like to spend the day with the most? Uh can I get all of them please? Who put the sham in the sham a lama ding dong? No, I do believe it was me! How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck woods? A lot. Is your brother going to shave his head so he still looks like Nerimon? You know, I'm sorry to break it to you, but like, because my brother so desperately wanted to be Nerimon, he, he's been wearing a wig all this time. Uh, that's not his actual hair, because no human being could possibly have hair that awesome. So, um, he, he's actually bald. He never grew any hair. If you could be any plant, what would be your favourite day of the week? Any plant? Why, if I could be any plant, my favourite day of the week would be Friday, because if I was a plant, I would really like to watch your videos, Rob. If you could be an omnivorous dinosaur travelled back in time to the Neolithic period, what would be your favourite letter of the Greek alphabet, and why? If I was an omnivorous dinosaur travelled back in time to the Neolithic period, I would have, I would like all of the Greek letters of the alphabet. I'd be like, Omega, man, I like you. <laughs> Yeah, 
get this Hank? Hank is a magical water horse who lives in Loch Ness. But like, Nessie got really mad that he was like chilling in her loch. So like, she like hired some like Russian nuclear scientists and they came and they like blew Hank out of the water. So he like went flying across the Atlantic Ocean. I think he landed in California, but it was okay because then he went and he was like chilling with all like the people in the OC. So he's a cool dude. Um, my challenge of the week this week is to, um, I don't know, do something, make it up. You guys make up your challenge and then do it. That, that'll be fun, okay. Bye bye. <laughs> oh god, these videos are so random. I got pissed off that he was living there. He like hired some... <laughs> Hanging out or no long. <laughs> what is it happening? <laughs> okay. Okay. Breathe. He got upset that he was like, you know, chilling. <laughs> that he was, you know, like chilling in our, in our lock. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. So she hired like some Russian nuclear scientists. <laughs> and they like. <laughs> 